Yo, what is up guys? Man, does it feel good to be back. I feel like I'm looking extra crispy on camera. <laughs> if you guys keep up with me on Instagram and my stories, you would know that I was on vacation. I was in Orlando, Florida. We did the whole thing, Walt Disney World, a couple of different parks. We went to Universal Studios and had a good, good time. I'm feeling good and refreshed and excited to be back here making some videos. Actually kind of surprised that I had a good time because I'm not really the biggest fan of theme parks, mainly because I don't like roller coasters. Oh! Oh! Call me a wuss or whatever, I, they're not for me. But if you guys wanna see that vlog, let me know. I have some footage, a couple of different parks. It's pretty sick. If you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comment section down below. And also let me know if you like roller coasters or if you're like me and you're afraid of them. But now that I'm back, I came back to a bunch of different packages, including this one. Yeah, boy. Now I actually opened this <laughs> off camera, but you guys didn't see that, so I'm just gonna recreate my excitement. Stickers! Yeah, I'm gonna keep these in my backpack, so if you ever see me around DC, let me know. I'll hook you up with some stickers. And these stickers are from Anonymous Longboards, which is where this board is from. What? Oh my goodness. It's a bamboo penny board. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's so little. This thing's amazing. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that die cut grip tape. Incredibly light, incredibly light. Wow, this is awesome. It's got Paris 150 trucks, Paradise 59 millimeter 78A wheels, Cloud Ride bearings, and that bottom, that bamboo bottom is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that laser engraving of the logo. Anonymous longboards made in Colorado. This is an awesome shape. It's much wider than a, let me, let me just grab, so this is sort of your typical penny board shape, and this is the shape of the anonymous penny board. So as you can see, there is much more width to the bamboo penny board, which should make it pretty stable to stand on. They seem to be roughly around the same size, but this board has a much, much bigger kicktail. Oh, you guys know how much I love kicktails. Should I try a couple of handboard tricks on this? I didn't break anything. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop before I destroy this table. Wow, this thing really is a beautiful board. I wish I had this with me in Florida, man. Having a penny board would be awesome. But I've got it now. Super stoked to try it out. Let's go out there, let's ride it around, maybe do a couple of tricks and then uh, you guys already know I gotta do something special to this board, so we'll get into that too. But for now, let's go ahead and just give this thing a little test ride. Oh boy, it's like we completely skipped spring and went straight into summer. Dang, it's hot out. <laughs> I don't think I'm mad at it though, I kinda like it. I miss wearing tank tops. But, I've got this board, we're just gonna cruise around on it. This board is incredibly light, I don't know if I mentioned that. This thing is like the iPad Air of cruiser skateboards. It's, it's incredible. Let's do a quick flex test, cause this thing's made out of bamboo and I wanna see just how that board feels. You go there, you beautiful piece of art. Very thin and it does have some flex. I don't know if you can see, but when you stand on the tail, the board does bend a bit. That's kind of scary. I don't know how comfortable I'd be trying to do tricks on this considering it's so flexible, I might break it. <sighs> but let's just start things off with a little bit of a cruise around. My goodness, this board feels absolutely amazing. This might be the smoothest cruiser board I've ever ridden in my entire life. I think it's about time to try some tricks on this board. I just have to be very careful to land very lightly on the board and land completely over the bolts because if I don't, pretty sure I'm gonna demolish this board. Let's start things off with something super simple like a uh, nollie shove. Ooh. Ah! 
now we'll do it freaky. Yeah! Now Nolly the other way. Whoa! Oh. Whoa, big front shove is so weird. Yeah! I take back what I said about summer. I did like four tricks, four super easy tricks, and I'm already sweating. But I think the question is, can you ollie on this thing without breaking it? Ooh, okay, I think I'm taking that one. Maybe a regular shove? Ooh! Yeah! Dude! What the fluke? Why is Gamora? Yeah! It's way too hot. I should not be covered in sweat after just five simple tricks. After just cruising on it, I kind of got the gist of it. It's an amazing cruiser. As a cruiser alone, I give it 10 out of 10. It's probably something that I'm gonna use to just cruise around with, maybe just enjoy the beautiful weather as long as it's not too hot like today. But, you know on this channel, we always gotta mix it up a little bit. Let's add a flipping motor to this thing. Take the front truck off. I am seriously blown away by how light this thing is. Science is crazy. Oh yeah, we in business, baby. We're gonna make this happen. Stupid god <laughs> Oh, it's starting to get heavy. And I'm setting up a skateboard to ride around really fast and go vroom vroom rack. Oh, this thing is so much heavier now. It went from weighing about the same as a piece of paper to weighing about the same as a textbook with wheels and a motor on it. That's got some kick to it. All right, only one thing left to do now, take this little monster out on the roads and go for a test ride. is insanely fast and insanely scary to ride. It feels way faster than you're actually going. Go! God, it's so hot outside. I feel like I'm gonna melt into some form of Filipino stew or something. Can we just take a second to appreciate the raw power of this tiny board? Check this out. Oh yeah, 350! Board down. <laughs> oh, still going, still going. Whoa! Look at this little monster truck over here. Oh! <laughs> what? It's <laughs> All right, so I just wanna quickly compare this little Franken board I made to the Boosted Mini, since that's like the hottest electric skateboard out right now. The Economy Boosted Mini version S has a top speed of 18 miles per hour with max range of seven miles. The higher end version, the Mini X, has a top speed of 20 miles per hour with a max range of 14 miles. Now I know for a fact this thing is much smaller than both of them and has a higher top speed of around 30 miles per hour. I've done a video on this land wheel drive before. If you haven't seen it, it's gonna be right here. So faster and smaller than a boosted mini. If that's your cup of tea, if you want like to ride the smallest thing on earth, if you wanna feel like you're standing on a baseball home plate going 30 miles per hour, that's up to you. Personally, I think I need a little bit more size when handling higher speeds because it's just too small. But as a little travel board, it's pretty fun. I would definitely consider putting this in like a carry-on or something. Not on a plane, but on a train. But yeah, this thing is super sick. I've done a video putting this motor on a regular plastic penny board, but because of the width of this board, it's just so much more stable to ride, so much more fun, and I think it looks 
way, way better. Riding weather is here, guys. I got a bunch more boards to take a look at coming to you very soon, so be sure to subscribe to catch those videos. Definitely hit that notification bell so that you're the first one to know when a new video is uploaded. And let me know what you think about this little, uh, Ooh. Let me know what you guys think about this little bamboo motorized penny board. Do you think you have the balls to take this to 30 miles per hour? Personally, I can't do it. I value my life. Let me know your ideas in the comment section down below. And until next time, guys, stay stoked. Come out. Trust me, I've seen stranger things. This world don't